everybody always complains about the well that that drilling left them, right? So what what are some of the biggest complaints you've got or or what are the biggest complaints you hear from others maybe about uh, what's going on downhole? Mostly either leaving stuff downhole or over tightening collars where they're squeezing in on each other and we're Mushroom, catching collars okay. on the way down. That, that's the biggest thing is the over tightening collars. So you might be able to explain this a little better than I can because I did a little bit on the drilling side, but not really. What happens when you over tighten a collar? Can you explain that for them, how that works while we're catching that? I've seen it before and I've, I've heard of it before. Like if you're running like torque rings. So, mm. uh, you know, on a lot of nice. your connections, if you run torque rings in there, uh, like you're essentially, if you don't want to run like a modified buttress connection, uh, you can put torque rings in between these BTC connections and it's, you know, supposed to give you better sealability, higher torque ratings and all that so that you can get it down to bottom. But, you know, if, if you over torque those, or if a lot of times too, I've seen that those torque rings, if they're not made out of P110 material, which is the same as what the casing is, they're, they're weaker. And so whenever it starts seeing all that torque, it can kind of mushroom out and, and get into the ID of your casing and do exactly exactly what you're saying, prevent plugs from going down and doing all of that. And so, you know, whenever you over torque those, I mean, essentially what it is, is that, you know, it's pushing, it's pushing that material beyond its limits and, and it's just, it's expanding out into your, into the idea of your wellbore. It's just going wherever it can and, and definitely causes problems. I've heard of operators having to go down and drill out yeah and tens of those you know which is a which is a huge problem so i think also too you know a lot of the wells that i've been drilling lately are seven inch by four and a half so we don't run like long strings so you know if you over tightened a seven inch connection but you guys are out there fracking down four and a half even if that did happen i don't think that you guys would ever see it you know no but on that any- on the coming from the seven to the four and a half all the issues that I have seen has been, you know, the toe sleeve has either been kind of, you know, messed up a little bit or something like that. And it's kind of hard to get into it. And then it through. turns, yeah, it turns into a pain in the ass, but yep. we get through it. But yeah, I've seen we it had- where, like, when they over tighten them, they have to get a cool unit out there with a the drill bit and sit there and just ring it out and then yep. go to the next one, ring that one out. And it, it's a week long event that yep. shouldn't shouldn't even happened. I was joking earlier. I mean, I've, I've heard of that happening, but I really haven't experienced it on one of our wells. Yeah. So, I mean, it I ain't a, it ain't an everyday thing or like a every well thing for us, but it's definitely right. an issue that we run into more than we want to. Yep. I'm with you. <laughs> because well, when, when you, you talk about, with... yeah, when you're talking about putting a plug that barely has enough room to just pick up just a little bit, when you're starting to catch stuff on the side of that, uh, case and it, it definitely hinders it. Yep. Yeah, because you're talking. Yeah, you're talking about thousands of an inch, right? Yeah. Yep. That's for sure. That's always been something that's amazed me about kind of what we do in the industry is the 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 tolerance is so tight and and how you know a couple thousands of thousands of an inch can make such a huge difference between oh yeah success and absolute failure. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's kind of what I've been taught my whole oil field career is just, you got to make sure you're right on the dot. Cause if you're not, it can be catastrophic. Yep. And if you put it down hole, it's probably too late. Yeah. If it goes down hole, yeah, you're, you're screwed. 